All right, everyone, so today I will be talking about the Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy, or MRS exam. So this exam is non-invasive, meaning all devices are placed around the scalp. And it basically takes images of the organs and soft tissue inside the brain. And it measures the behavior of the atom subjected to a magnetic field, which you will see in the image to the right, those little circles with the positive one-half and negative one-half are atoms. And basically, if the atoms have an odd, an odd mass number, then their quantum property is spinning, which makes them dipoles. How does it work? So the scanners are called spectrometers, and these spectrometers have magnetic the magnetic field strength of 11 to 14 Tesla. And in the diagram on the right, you will see I, which stands for the quantum number. And so the quantum number of the protons is equal to one half. And the number of orientations of proton magnetic moments is two times one half plus one is equal to two. And in the diagram, you will see H, which is equal to Planck's constant. And if you don't know what Planck's constant is, Planck's constant is the quantum number of the electromagnetic action, which relates a photon's energy to its frequency. So how does it work? Continued. So the room temperature zone is placed vertically through the center of the machine. And the sample contains A, which is the outer shell, B, which is liquid nitrogen, C, which is liquid helium, D, which is solenoid wire coil, E, which is shim coils, F, which is a receiver and radio frequency pulse coils, and finally G, which is a biofluid sample. Who does it affect? So this scan helps define the metabolic changes in pediatric drug-resistant epilepsy patients who are on anti-epileptic drugs, or AEDs. And what does it look like? So the first, scan, the first picture is a basic view of what the results would look like. The picture in the middle is the novel sensor implant, which radically improved the significance of the NMR, or nuclear magnetic resonance imaging brain scans. And the last picture is just the view of the machine. If you like this video, give it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I hope you found it very informative. And yeah, thanks for watching.